Happy Friday, first grade. It is Friday, April 24th. It is the last day of Spirit Week. Today we are wearing our wonderful College Prep Academy gear. Now, just because it's the last day of Spirit Week doesn't mean you have to let your school spirit fall apart. You could always wear your gear every day of the week with your PJs. All right. Today for writing, we will practice sharing our own opinions through our writing. Can you please read that with me? What's that first word? What's the beginning sound you hear in that word? T -t -t. Go ahead and read it to me. Today, practice sharing own opinions through writing. Today we will practice sharing our own opinions through our writing. Let's get started. Nouns, we have got to review a noun. A noun is what? If you said a person, place, or thing, give yourself two claps and a, oh yeah. Nice job. Now, we know what a common noun is, but what is a proper noun? A noun with a little pinky in the air because it's very nice and proper and fancy. What's a proper noun? If you said it's still a person, place, or thing, but with a capital letter, or a name, you are correct. Proper nouns are people's names, because they have capital letters, names of places, because they have capital letters as well, or names of things, like a phone is a thing, but an iPhone is the name of the thing. All right, I'm going to pause our share right now, because somebody just rang my doorbell. All right, first graders, that was Miss Cabrera. She had to stop by and she wanted me to let you know that she misses everyone and she cannot wait until we all can get back together. So back to proper nouns, they are the names. They are the names, sweet. So which of these words do you think are proper nouns? Which of them do you think are names? Let's read them. Mr. Cantu, Chicken, Goose, Jimmy. Which ones do you think are names? Which ones are proper nouns? If you said Mr. Cantu, you're correct because Mr. Cantu is the name of a person. Give yourself a kiss your brain. Nice. If you also said Jimmy is a name, even though you don't know Jimmy, doesn't mean it's not somebody's name. That is also a proper noun. Nice job. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. All right, and we're going to continue. Write a story using three nouns. So this is one of your activities you can choose today. If you choose to do this activity, press pause and go ahead and complete the activity. All right, our second activity you can choose to do today is to write about your favorite food. Here I have a word bank with a bunch of different foods. I will read it, then you will read it. I will read then. All right, P -p pizza, salad, pasta, chicken nuggets, tamales, tacos, pasole. Fajitas, spaghetti, sandwich, pad thai, and a question mark to see what your favorite food is in case it's not there. I started my sentence with the stem, my favorite food is. If you choose to write about your favorite food, please, please pause this video right here and go ahead and do your activity. All right, just to wrap up, today you are choosing one of the activities. You can choose to catch up on any missing writing activities. So if you feel like, I got a lot of work today, Ms. Hernandez, I haven't finished all my stuff, that can be what you do today for writing. You can finish your other writing activities. If you already finished all of your activities, you can choose the, to write a story about the nouns, or you can choose to write about your favorite food. Don't forget to submit a picture of your writing on Class Dojo under the Friday Writing Activity. All right, have a good day and happy writing.